And tonight we are tracking Brian Cook of the Chiefs, his injury to his uh, lower leg. Uh, unfortunately, he was out the remainder of the game with a really bad injury to his left lower extremity. And it looks like a very severe ankle inversion sprain with probable fracture, if I were to guess. And of course, it's possible that he did have a high ankle sprain, external rotation injury due to the mechanism. And he is now clutching that left side in the right lower hand corner of your screen, number six. Unfortunately, he looks like he was planting his feet uh, and then came down really hard um, at an angle. And then once he came in contact with his opponent is when the fracture occurred. So we can take a look here, um, respectfully taking a look at this injury as I plan on following him in his path to recovery during a comeback. All players, they put everything on the line, on the field, game day, and it shows in their dedication. Taking a peek at that left lower extremity, a bit blurry here, but the moment he makes contact, you can see his left cleat go back a frame, kind of go in towards him towards his medial side, his uh, right thigh. Uh, obviously from the image, it's not great, but it looks like it does roll underneath uh, his, uh, his lower rump there. And, um, and then once the, once the play is done, he's kind of clutching that side. And, um, you know, obviously in a lot of discomfort. Uh, Brian Cook, um, you know, you're an amazing player and I really feel bad for you, sir. So hopefully, uh, you know, he can get the proper treatment he uh, deserves and continue on and see him back in 2024. Um, you know, even there, you can might maybe see a bit of the uh, subluxation of the bones. It's possible, you know, obviously this is just a grainy image here. And here's another view of him coming down, you know, planting his feet kind of at an angle, uh, coming in basically as a slide, anticipating that hit, uh, coming in as appropriate left, lower extremity planted, planted, contact, and then the injury occurs right there as it goes kind of tucked underneath him and he rolls through that impact. Yeah, it feels so Possible bad fractures. And taking a peek of our model here, it gives us an idea of some of the structures involved and also some ligament damage here. So we will know more as uh, the um, confirmation of the injury does occur in the following couple of uh, hours and days here. So obviously we don't know 100% what happened, uh, just that he did unfortunately sustain an injury during tonight's game. And we will continue to watch this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful